At Elizabeth Richard Gifts in Waterbury, you'll not only find unique, trendy, and well-made items at reasonable prices, but you'll also find good old-fashioned customer service to make your shopping experience extra special. I'm back here with owner Lori Green. Lori, it's nice to have you here. Oh, it's always great to be here. Um, your store is pretty exciting right now. It's it's all decorated. It is beautiful. Thank you. It is. It's very exciting for us. Yeah. We love the season. Uh, we love the holiday season. We've had our Christmas trees up for a while, and it just looks so festive in there. It now is. Now that the Halloween stuff is down, it's even prettier up there. Uh, and it, there's a great opportunity this weekend for people to come and check it out. If you've never been to the store, this is the weekend to come in. It's our big holiday open house, and this is our third annual one, and we have all kinds of great stuff going on. We have goodie bags available to the first 50 customers each um, each day of the open house, Friday and Saturday. And um, if you've ever come to an event, our goodie bag is really bar none. Um, <laughs> I don't we, doubt it, Lori. I don't doubt it. <laughs> we are also going to have um, a lot of food. We've got breakfast food. We've got some food at lunch. We've got some entertaining tips. I'll be serving everybody, so um, look for me in the back. How fun. And then on Saturday, we've got some neat stuff. We've got um, Master Sommelier Nelson Vega from um, 1249 Restaurant in Waterbury coming mm -hmm. in to do a wine tasting from 12 to 2. We also have mini manicures for free in our boutique. And... Um, it's just going to be all around wow, a lot of fun. What a great day. And you can so, start yeah. your Christmas shopping, which is huge, right? Definitely. And we gift wrap for free. We'll deliver things locally. Um, you've gotten some things delivered. I know that. So we we uh, deliver with TLC. had my shower, actually. <laughs> it was all beautifully gift wrapped. Thank you, Lori. Um, but today we are going to make a little recipe with a twist, a pumpkin twist. I love pumpkin this time of year. I do, too. And, you know, um, it, it kind of commemorates my one year of coming on the show. Last year in November, I came on for the first time and I made my famous pumpkin bread. I, I go through about... Uh, 150 or so of these pumpkin breads in a season. Do you give them as gifts? I what do. I hand idea. them out to everybody that I know, and um, whether they like it or not, they're getting a pumpkin <laughs> bread. So this year, I said to myself, when I came on, came on to the show for November, mm -hmm. what am I going to do that's a little bit different? And I decided to do pumpkin bread pudding. Ooh. So I took a traditional um, bread pudding recipe, and we're just going to change it up just a little bit. So, um, and it's very, very simple. It's going to take you just a few minutes. I made this for a friend on Friday night. It took me all of 10 minutes to arrange it, get it into the oven. I went upstairs, I got changed and stuff, and by the time it came down, it was all done. Oh so I'm taking gosh. a pumpkin bread, and you can always use banana bread, you can use um, cranberry bread, whatever kind of bread you want, but because it is November, I'm gonna use pumpkin bread. Okay. You just kind of cube it up, and you put it into um, your bowl, and then you're gonna take um, your half and half, you're gonna use about one and a half cups of half and half here. Okay. Um, the recipe on the website says, um, Three, uh, three cups, but we cut the recipe in half today. Sure. What we're also going to do is take about um, a quarter of a cup of sugar, brown sugar, that is, and two eggs, and we're going to kind of beat that together. Okay. Your recipes are always so easy to put together. I made the short ribs, by the way, the last time Did you were you? here. And how'd they come out? Fantastic. And it was just so easy. It was... You put it on the stove and forget about it. <laughs> it is. It's very, very simple. And now what we're going to do, Teresa, is we're just going to take and we're going to mix this together in the bowl. Whoops. Get back in there. <laughs> um, and we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. Um, we're going to let the bread get all soaked in. This works really well if you've got day-old bread. Um, but if you don't have day-old bread, um, I suggest that you put it in your oven for just a few minutes and just toast it, just so it gets a little bit uh, stiff. Oh, okay. All right? So this was indeed day-old bread. I made this on Monday night. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a lightly greased baking dish. Okay. If you're going to make a half a recipe, then you're only going to want to use um, a small square pan. Um, if you do make the full recipe, um, you might want to go into a 9 by 13. And you're going to um, just kind of press this down as you get it into the pan. And don't worry about mushing it, because when it comes <laughs> out of the oven, it. it needs to be nice and firm. It needs to be all together. And uh, then we're going to cut it into squares. We're going to serve it with some absolutely sinful caramel this sauce. This is great. Do you have this at your store? I do. It's um, a caramel sauce that is made by a woman up in New Hampshire, and I had the opportunity to actually meet her in person. Oh, really? And she does actually oversee the making of every oh, single batch. Great. Um, it's Tahana caramel sauce, and I chose the salted caramel sauce for this. I, I love her salted caramels. So we're going to cook this in the oven for about, um, about 35, 40 minutes on great. 325. And then afterwards, we'll plate it, and we'll put it together. It's really easy. Sounds and you have totally impressed all your friends when you serve this. I love that. Let's talk about uh, what's trending in your kitchen. What's trending in my kitchen right <laughs> yes. now, we have a very 
very busy kitchen in the green household. So some <laughs> of the things that um, I love and I cannot do without right now for the month of November, um, a good roasting pan. Thanksgiving is upon us. That's you true, are right? going to need a good roasting pan with a roasting rack too because you don't want your turkey sitting down and all the juices and stuff. You want to oh, kind of elevate it up a little bit and let it cook a, a little bit um, better. So get yourself a good roasting pan with a rack. Tongs. I love my little locking tongs from Queasy Pro. We've got these in the store too and people laugh at me but if there's something that I need to get off of a very top shelf or the top of a Christmas oh, tree, I use my great. tongs too. I'm 5'8", <laughs> but I still sometimes need that extra reach. Um, silicone trivets. These are really, really nice. You could put these on your dining room table and no one's even going to notice so them. They're so pretty They're too. pretty and they're safe up to 600 degrees. Oh. Um, a gravy separator. I'm going to make gravy with my turkey. So this is going to separate out all the fat. So all of my hard work of, of dieting and exercising isn't going to go to waste just because it's the holidays. I'm going to take out some calories with this nice gravy separator, also from Queasy Pro. Okay. Um, we talked about the caramel sauce. We also sell the caramels in a bag Ooh. because you know what? Sometimes I get really stressed out and just I need have to one. have a little caramel. <laughs> While I'm in my kitchen. You're allowed. <laughs> when I'm all done in my kitchen, sometimes I like to light a candle, and I've got this wonderful candle here from Fraser. It smells fir. so. It smells um, like there's Christmas trees all around us. It is, with that one little candle. That candle is absolutely beautiful. It's not like sickly Christmas tree. I mean, it's just right. It's yeah. it's great for um for that. Then the other thing that we uh, we always talk about around the store is the wine aerator. So you know, get yourself a, a wine aerator, gift. or pick it up as a hostess gift for when you go visiting this that. holiday Bring season. Bring a bottle of wine and the wine aerator. That's right. It that's makes right. the whole wine taste different. And we've right? got these nifty little wine holders that just came out. Uh, I just these think are they're so a lot cute. of fun. They're little Louboutins with the red on the bottom. <laughs> I love it. I just Adorable. think they're fun, and and it it just adds a little bit of whimsy to your table. Huh. You know what else you need in the kitchen at this time of year, Teresa? You need a comfortable pair of slippers. I agree, Lori. You need to keep your feet comfy and cozy because you're going to be on them for an awfully long time. So we've got you covered on that too. And then the last thing that I need in my kitchen is a cookbook with quick recipes, easy sure. recipes, and some beautiful pictures. And the Barefoot Contessa never disappoints me. So I have a whole uh, shelf full of her cookbooks. Great products, So that's Lori. what's trending in my kitchen. And I would love to know what's trending in your kitchen right now. Well, we could find you everywhere on Facebook. We could send you a message, yeah. Instagram. Instagram, Pinterest, we're on Twitter. Yeah, we are. We're all over the place. All it's right. exhausting. Uh, it's exhausting. <laughs> uh, what's great, though, is that the Holiday Open House is uh, this weekend, Friday and Saturday, right at Elizabeth Richard Gifts. It's at 951 Chase Parkway on the Middlebury Waterbury Line. It's just off exit 17 of I-84. You can call 203-754-GIFT-4438, or you could also find them pretty much anywhere on social media as we mentioned and uh, I advise everyone to go take a look at the Palace Theater window. Yes, that's right. We did decorated. The, the beautiful window at the Palace Theater. All right, Just Lloyd. in time for the holidays. So Thanks come on so back much. and we'll plate this up and Dig we'll in. let everybody try it. <laughs> All right. Coming up, we'll tell you about a new book that's teaching kids about the negative effects of bullying. When Style Returns, we'll be right back.